guys. Nikki's back, 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 back again. Again, again. Nikki's back, back, back. Tell your friends, friends, friends. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So y'all already know we're gonna be seeing what's tea was popping. I'm gonna tap into your guys' energy, get some messages for y'all. But yeah, if it resonates, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just get started. I do have a couple different decks that we will be using. They are new. So hopefully we get some new energy okay so let's connect to my hearts hidden secrets let's get some messages from this deck first and then we'll go on with tarot so connect me to my collective spirit let's connect to the collective what's going on we have commitment okay and that's confirmation so some of y'all you're possibly about to get into a relationship or you're in one significant and man oh man does this bring you new it brings you a lot of peace or this person is put into your life to bring you peace because maybe all you ever experienced was chaos was conflict you know was destruction but now you're able to have somebody who calms you down some of you guys could like suffer from like anxiety or maybe you just feel as if there's a lot that always goes on, okay? There's a lot of chaos that goes on. And I feel like with this lover that's coming into your life, this person is here to bring in peace. This person is here to calm you down. This person could possibly be an earth sign, okay? And you could possibly be a fire sign. But we have commitment here. Marriage, promises, okay? Fertility. What else? This is about to be one balance out, uh, bound, yes. This is about to be one balanced ass connection. When I tell you balance, I mean your divine feminine energy is going to be balanced. Their divine masculine energy is going to be balanced. Like there, it's perfect. There's like, there is a connection that is coming in for you collective. And I feel like it's what you've been waiting for. It's but what you've been wanting. It's what you've been asking. And some of y'all are tired of dealing with the people from your past. You're tired of dealing with kind of like the same type of energy. You feel as if, yes, you're running into different people, but it's the same energy. It's the same soul, you know? And I feel like you defeated that part of your karmic life. You're no longer in that anymore. So some of you guys, I feel like when it came down to your relationships, that could have been where you were tested the most the most and some of y'all could have definitely gave up on love and it was because of what you kept going through you know it just felt like an endless cycle and i just feel as if now you're not looking at it like that anymore you know you're actually like open to being with someone who wants the same thing as you okay so what is it about this lover this new lover or this connection what is it about this connection This may even be the person that you marry. Oh my God, we got twin flame and it literally almost went in the flame. So something about this connection is very, very, very significant. And it may be scary as hell because when you're with your twin flame, you're, you know you're dating yourself, right? And that's hard, extremely hard because when you get triggered, you wanna walk away from it or you want to make it seem like nah like i don't have to heal or i'm good i'm all the way healed but then when you meet your twin flame it's a whole nether story yes confirmation again so i just feel like you're about to meet somebody who is literally like you okay this is what you asked for this is what you wanted and this is what you're getting but be aware that this is not about to be easy i'm letting you know this now it's funny because i'm in my twin flame union with my person and he's literally me and the scary part about it is it's just like when i get pissed at him i'm just like fuck that's literally me doing that because again we're mirroring each other and i'm letting y'all know it's not easy okay because i'm in this shit already and it's not easy at all Okay, you're gonna wanna quit. You're gonna wanna tell yourself that. You're gonna wanna try to like walk away because again, when you get triggered, it's not the best feeling. It makes you feel like, not only does it make you feel some type of way, but again, when you get triggered, you have to like go within and heal. You know, you have to kind of like look at yourself, look in the mirror and that's not always easy to do. 
So I feel like this person that's coming to your light, they're going to really help change you for the better, but it's not going to be easy. I do have to let you know that, but I feel like it's going to be what you want. Okay, what else? Let's get one more. Let's get one more for my collective. Significant, Um, I feel like a uh, relationship is super significant though. Okay, because that's what I'm looking at. We have twin flame, we have uh, commitment here. So some of you guys are coming into union with your twin flame finally after, because um, I feel like you had to balance out your energy. Okay, because we have balance, harmony. You had to do that in order to get this. So let's go in with tarot. Yeah, look, if this was a twin flame, this person could have returned because again, with the twin flame journey, um, usually there is a runner and there's a chaser. So this person could have been running away from their feelings, running away from the intensity of this connection. And I feel like this person is returning because they know where home is, first of all. And second of all, I just feel like with a twin flame, you're not gonna find anybody on that level. You're, there's only, you only get one twin flame. You get multiple soulmates. Okay, multiple. So for y'all, I feel like you guys are receiving a twin flame. Heavy on the twin. Okay, so you guys, you may be, you may end up dating yourself or dating the same sign as you. That could even be significant. But let's go on with tarot. What's significant about this relationship? Why do you guys want me to tap into this energy for my collective? What's going on? It's almost like spirit is saying, brace yourself. Brace yourself because this is what you wanted. You did the work. You did the internal work. And I feel like you're finally balanced. Your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy is balanced. So now you get your person. Okay. Don't be scared now. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit say. So what else? <laughs> Ace of Cups. See, it's brand new. Whoo. I'm so glad that this is just new energy. We don't have to talk about no dusty karmic scallywag karmic. I'm so glad. For real. Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups here, and this is something new. This is something refreshing, and I want to say, this twin flame only has eyes for you, okay? If this person, once he says, once he or she says they're committed, they're committed. This isn't someone who's out here wilding or roaming the streets, doing anything. No, this person is showing their appreciation and showing you their absolute, their absolute love and attention. That's what I'm getting, for real. And I feel like this person has no issue with communicating with that as well. Okay, what you're going to notice about your twin flame or about this new lover or suitor coming into your life is their communication skills. Okay, this person doesn't hold back. They don't sugarcoat. They're just blunt. And I feel like when they see what they like, they're going to go after it. And I feel like somebody is definitely pursuing you. Okay, 100%. What else? This is a divine love. This love is coming in so that you can bring harmony into the world. So you guys have a higher purpose. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles. Clarify this King of Pentacles here. Again, I was getting earth energy. I said this person could be an earth sign because they calm you down. So seriously, this person could be like a Taurus. For real. Okay, clarify this King of Pentacles. This person has what you're looking for when it comes to stability, when it comes to building some sort of legacy. This person wants the same thing as you. So collective, what you're going to want you, what you're going to realize is that this person wants the same thing as you, which means if you guys have the same goal, you guys can come together as a team and get there quicker. You see what else? What else about this King of Pentacles? This person has an overwhelming amount of love for you. And I feel like you may not even know it. Okay. This connection is protected as well. There could be a Scorpio possibly from your past that's watching this connection that you're in. Okay. We do have the Justice and the Seven of Swords popping out. If there was a Scorpio who tried to end a relationship in your life, they could be receiving karma because they were doing something behind the scenes. They tried to not get caught, but they ended up getting caught anyways. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And justice is served. Look, this connection between you and your person will not be broken. 
you're meant to be together so i feel like there is a significant relationship that is coming into your life and it's coming to stay and all of these karmics that you left behind these mon for some reason it's giving me monitoring spirits there could be karmics in your past who are monitoring spirits they try to monitor your life and i feel like um monitor Okay, they're trying to do that. And especially I feel like they're trying to monitor this you know, pinnacles, whoever that you're connected to, your partner. Or they don't want you to see this person clearly. Whoever this ex is, they want you to see them. They want you to have a distorted view on this new person. That way you're able to miss the opportunity. So I feel like there was a huge opportunity coming in, especially related to love, and someone from your past wants you to miss it. But I feel like you're not going to end up doing that. It's not gonna go as the Scorpio plans. It's not, okay? So there could be someone who is trying to destroy your, what's meant for you. And they can't like this person thinks that they're god and they're not so they don't have the power to do shit okay that's literally what i'm getting so what else about this divine love okay what else also i don't know why i'm getting this as a message but if there was somebody that you were trying to warn i feel like you were sent into someone's life and I don't know if this is your false twin, but you were meant to shine light on this person's karmic. There could have been a false twin that you were connected to, collective, and they had a karmic, but they didn't realize it. So you were put into their life to help shed it, shed light on the person that they were possibly committed to. So there could pos it could go that way as well, because we do have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So there could have been someone from your past that, you're, that you were connected to, but they were in a relationship. So you guys had to just keep it on a friend level or friendly level. And I feel like you were letting this person know that they had a karmic around them. They had somebody who was deceiving them, using them, possibly for their money, pinnacles. And I feel like they now see what you were talking about because everything is being destroyed in this person's life. That way they can see this karmic was destroying this person. And if it wasn't for you, you could be like a healer or even a terror reader with the Queen of Pentacles. But if, if it wasn't for you saying something, this King of Pentacles would still be stuck with the karmic. But I feel like they're out of that. They may even be getting a divorce. So there could be a marriage or was a marriage. So now... I feel like this person sees what you've been talking about and they're able to finally get out of this commitment that they don't want to be in. And I feel like that may bring them peace because they're no longer connected to someone who is just using them. Okay, that's what I'm getting as a message as well. They may even want to come towards you because you're the reason why they were saved. You helped save somebody. From a horrible situation i mean that situation was already horrible but i feel like if it wasn't for you saying something this person wouldn't have known this would have been someone who was still in that karmic cycle but you spoke up okay and now i feel like this person wants to reunite or even give you a thank you but i feel like it's more as in like this person is able to see who you truly are to them and i feel like you were someone to help heal them Okay, heal them through this chaos with the tower card. So there could be somebody that you were connected to in the past, but they are going through a lot. They could be going through a divorce. They're getting rid of a karmic. And I feel like they're even going through some sort of spiritual awakening, some sort of enlightenment. But it's kind of sad because like this person may want to be with you, but you're... That wasn't your person. I feel like you were only there to help them and move on. This is why you have your twin flame here. Because again, before you're able to get your real twin, you have to go through the false twin. So I feel like with your false twin, you had to enlighten them about who they had around. The people that they were surrounded by. And they were karmics, okay? Whoever this false twin was, they were surrounded by karmic family, karmic people, just karmic energy. Okay, and you are here to shed light on that commitment. And I feel like you did. You got the job done. And now you're able to come into union with your real twin. 
okay because first you have to go through that cycle in order to get to the next one okay does that make sense okay that's what i'm getting what else So I feel like you got your job, you got the job done. You know what's crazy? I feel like spirit, they use you for like a certain reason. Like you have a higher purpose in this world. And I feel like sometimes you're meant to shed light and it's not always in the, it's not always presented in the best way, but I feel like you get the job done. So you may cause a little chaos or, you know, commotion, but it gets the job done. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so spirit knows that if someone is needs help or if there is some sort of lesson that someone needs to learn, they're choosing you. Something about spirit choosing you to get the job done. Because I feel like you're going to get it done no matter what. You could be a Libra, okay? You could be an air sign. What else? What else is going on? What else is going on? Let's see. Yeah, we got the lover's card. Y'all may have choices in love, but I feel like it's because your false twin is wanting you, but your real twin is wanting you as well. So you may need to stay clear from your false twin because I feel like you already did what you needed to do. The only thing that you had to do was shed light on them being with a karmic. You did that. Now you're able to move forward into a connection with your actual twin, two of cups. So make sure that someone doesn't try to trick you. Make sure you have your eyes and ears open. Okay, that's what I'm getting when I'm looking at this eye in the tower card. Make sure your eyes are open. Okay? Clearly. Because I feel like your false twin, they're still holding on to you. Because again, you are the one to show them unconditional love. And a lot of it too. And before, I feel like they took advantage of it. They didn't want to believe you. Especially if you were talking about them being surrounded by like snakes. They didn't want to believe you. They're like, please. Like, you, you're possibly the snake. Like, you know, like this person turned it on you. But now, now, with all of this chaos that went on with the tower card, they're able to see, oh shit, she was right. Oh shit, I was surrounded by snakes. You know, and now this person feels dumb. Literally, okay? This person is stuck inside of their mind, trapped inside of their mind because they're like, oh shit, she was right. She was right the whole time, you know? And then on top of that, I feel like this person, your false twin had like, I keep having to say false and real twin because I, I don't wanna get the two mixed up or I don't want y'all to get confused. But it's definitely giving me false twin. But this false twin right here, yes, they wanna heal some sort of relationship with you, but I feel like that's not gonna work because what you don't realize is even though they're still going through this um, separation or this divorce, they still have ties to this other woman or to this other man. This is why you can't be with them because this false twin doesn't know how to let go, okay? Yes, you were sent into this person's life to alert them of ding, 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 this person is bad for you, but they still have issues with letting it fully go. This could be someone who always goes back to their ex. That's what you could have been dealing with, okay, with your false twin. But with your real twin, you're going to get someone who is strictly committed to you. You're not going to have to have that issue. And I feel like somebody is trying to confuse you or make you weigh your options. That's why I said make sure that your eyes and ears are open because you want to make sure that no one isn't trying to manip manipulate you at all. Okay? That's what I'm getting to. So what's this lover card about? What's the lover card about? The lovers. Clarify the lovers. Damn, we got, damn, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice. Okay. Your reward for helping Spirit out, because I feel like you're like God's helper. Something about you being like Spirit's helper, okay, is significant. 
but I feel like with you helping out spirit, especially when it comes to, you know what? You're walking karma in people's life. You serve karmic justice with the justice card being here. So your reward for obeying or helping spirit out is a true, is your lover. And it's a true lover at that. It's your twin flame. So some of you guys, again, you are used. I feel like I don't want to say used. You were put into people's life to shed light. You were like the calm to the storm. You know, a lot of people, they had a lot of things going on in their life that was destructive, but you came in and calmed it down. You know, like that's what I'm getting. And you could have been single for a very long time because again, spirit was using you to um, come into people's life and, you know, really help them. But it could have been like very tragic because again, these people did things to you with the seven of swords. They could have lied, cheated. These were, these are hurt people. So you already know the saying hurt people, hurt people. So these, per these people were hurt, so they ended up hurting you, but then they ended up getting hurt because again, the karma with the justice card. So I feel like you could have had a lot of karmic relationships, but it was due to you serving some sort of higher like lesson in their life. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But now, instead of you just looking from the outside in you're actually able to be in a relationship yourself and this is a relationship that's here to stay this is your kingdom spouse with the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles this is everlasting this is eternal love this is divine love with the ace of cups okay and then the two of cups is here like you guys are going to be lovebirds okay you already did what you needed to do and now your lesson in life is related to you and your twin so before you had lessons with all these karmics but now it's just between you and your twin flame because now you're in union we have commitment okay and again there will be people who test you i feel like people from your past they're gonna try to test you as in come back into your life when you're with your twin flame so that you can ruin that connection so that you can cheat on your twin flame basically but again i don't think that's even gonna work what's going to happen what else i don't think that's gonna happen again keyword is try they're gonna try so you got a lot of people from your past who are monitoring spirits okay they could even try to like interfere into your um dream state and I feel like it's because they're trying to gather information. Your exes or the karmics that you left behind, they're trying to gather information so that they can use it against you. Yep, I can't make it up. King of Swords. All, there is something about you knowing something or you have a lot of wisdom. People are trying to, I feel like there's a lot of people who want to know what you're up to or who you're with, okay? So be careful on giving out information because monitoring spirits could be a part of your family as well. So maybe you should just be quiet, especially when it comes to you upgrading your life or you even in a relationship. Make sure to just keep it quiet or keep it on the down low, okay? Because I'm telling you, somebody is trying to use that information against you or they're trying to get information so that they can stop you or delay you or try to hinder this connection with your twin or try to ruin it. They wanna destroy it. With the tower card, they're meant to destroy it, okay? So that's kinda of scary that these people are even trying to do that because it's just like, there we go. But I'm not really understanding why these people are mad or why they are even meant to do this. But again, like with some karmic, with some karmics in our life, they're meant to destroy us. And I mean destroy, and I keep looking at this tower card. I don't know if it's a Scorpio or if it's a Cancer. Okay, but they're meant to destroy something good. And what's good is this twin flame, this union coming into play. So this person's job is to not have this come together at all. So they're gonna do everything in their power to stop you or to even stop your partner. So y'all need to like protect your connection. Okay, please protect it because there are people who are after y'all. I don't even know why. 
Again, you guys serve a higher purpose. This is why they're attacking you so heavily. What else about this connection? Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah, you want nothing to do with your past. And they have, they feel some type of way about that. They do. Because it's just like, well, shit, what's wrong with me? Why don't you want me? Like somebody could have thought that their looks were everything. And it wasn't. It wasn't going to make you stay. If anything, it was just going to make you cut them off. And that's exactly what you did. And again, with you being in this energy of the Empress, okay, you're able to birth anything. So that's, ooh, you know what I'm getting? This is some weird shit. I feel like somebody is trying to morp into your energy because you're someone who has a lot of wisdom, a lot of power, a lot of abundance. So somebody is here to try to destroy you, destroy your existence. Someone's purpose in life is to destroy you, is to keep you stuck. That's literally what they're meant to do with the moon card. This is what's hidden, but instead you're going to be successful, okay? You're extremely powerful. This is why, I, again, spirit chooses you when there is a lesson. When there is a tough lesson that people have to go through, spirit, they're like, yep, we're, we're choosing the collective. And it's because you get the job done. So again, no wonder people want to destroy you. For real. Like you're powerful. Like you are super powerful. It's almost ridiculous. For real. Like the power is within your hands. The power is within you. Okay. And with you birthing new ideas or just energy itself... It's bringing in so much with the Ten of Pentacles. It's bringing you even more abundance. So no wonder somebody from your past wants to end you. But I don't think that's going to happen at all. Like I said before, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be recognized. Again, it's almost as if Spirit is blessing you. Again, they're blessing you with this twin flame union that's coming into your life. And I just feel like this is what you're getting ready for. And again, somebody is doing everything in their power in the dark, in the background, to try to destroy you. But... You can't be destroyed. I feel like you're immortal. Like something about you, you can't die. I don't know, somebody can't hurt you. They can't harm you. Like again, you are, you have this protection around you that is, it's seen. These angels, the eyes. Okay, it's giving me that angel with the 100 eyes. I'll have to put a picture in the video so that you guys understand what I'm talking about. But you have angels who protect you who protect this connection who protect you and i feel like there is something that you have to protect and i feel like it's your destiny it's your legacy that's what you have to protect and for some reason somebody from your past or people or monetary spirits they want to take that away from you but they're not going to be able to they're even teaming up to do it okay but i'm here to tell you that none of their shenanigans is going to work so they're going to have to try again. It's giving me try again, motherfucker. They're going to have to just try again. But it, then again, like even if they do. Look at this. Karma. So it's like, do you want to play with me or not? Okay, that's what I'm getting. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for your reading. Uh, please like, comment down below how you guys felt about this reading. Hit the like button if it was accurate. Let your girl know. Also, if you guys are interested in a uh, personal reading, my Etsy shop, the link will be in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.